are just at Ikea and yesterday we actually went uh, furniture shopping which I just uploaded the vlog video onto my channel so if you guys have not seen our furniture shopping go check that out but today it's Ikea and I wanted to come here to look at um, some of my office and beauty room drawers that I'm planning on getting because I really like these white ones that have like glass and I just thought it'd be a cool idea to like maybe put like my purses or even like some of my makeup in there but I'll show you guys once I get in there and just to see kind of what else they have since I don't really know what I'm doing with my office space yet so I thought I would take you guys along for the ride with us <laughs> Horsepower, vehicle color. Oh, how do you do that? And today's also Father's Day, so we thought it would be like a good day to go since it's not busy here at all. The parking lot's pretty dead. Um, so yeah, we're gonna go look at furniture, see what they got, maybe look at some more appliances later. But yeah, there's a lot of selection at IKEA, so I'm excited about that and just kind of seeing kind of what I can do with like my beauty room or office space. It's like the most exciting part for me. We're gonna probably go to White Spot since it's like right over there and maybe have like a salad for lunch, something healthier. Okay, so White Spot is not in the US, but White Spot's a restaurant here or we have in Canada. Ryan just told me that you guys probably don't know what I'm talking about. So I tell you guys, it's a restaurant. Oh, okay. Lock door. Lock door. <laughs> Ikea! It's not very nice here today. It's like raining and all gross, but oh well. It's been kind of crappy this whole weekend. I hope the sunshine comes out next week. I am the hunter. No, no, no. Okay, so this is what I was talking about. Ooh. Ryan, this is what I was talking about. These drawers. Okay, write down the model number. Apparently, so you can kind of sucker me into something. This is nice too, but it's small. I have a drawer. Oh. Has a drawer. This is nice. I like how it has like built in lights. That's cool. Da -da -da. Another vlog. Ooh. I like these, Ryan. These drawers. Yeah, but you can get these all custom made, like these drawers. Ooh. I like the lights. Like, look how the lights go. Blue and then the gray sectional. This is nice. I like that. <laughs> Have no idea what he's doing. What are you doing? You would want these for the mudroom? I want to just do the drawers all the way to the top and then have another one just for clothes. Mm hmm. I could do custom though instead. But that's like pretty much what I want it to look like though. What about like that? No. <laughs> I like those drawers. Like I. But I like the. I like these ones. Like where you can see it. I don't like the white. I want it to be like all the glass going all the way up.
welcome back to the vlog and today is Tuesday. So went shopping yesterday so I thought I'd show you guys really quickly what I purchased and I went into Aritzia, I went into MAC and I also went into blah, blah, blah. Um, what is this store called again? Papyrus? So let's start off with MAC. So I actually went to MAC. I had to go get some Fix Plus. So I got some more Fix Plus and I actually picked up something else. Waha. So you guys know the good old Fix Plus. So I had to get this because I've been spraying it on my skin like crazy. This and the Tatcha spray have been my favorite like summer mist. And I'm like about halfway done. So I just thought I'd go replenish. And then also I thought I'd try this natural radiance and it was in the pink color, radiant pink. And it's a primer and it's like an illuminating primer so if you guys have tried it let me know what you think I swatched it on my hand and it looked really gorgeous like very glowy dewy and radiant so really excited to try that out and it's the pink one I think they had the peach one as well but I got the pink Aritzia I ended up getting some overpriced shorts and I never really shop at Aritzia because I don't spend a lot of money on clothes and Aritzia is like definition of money honestly it's kind of a ripoff uh, a lot of their stuff is like way overpriced just haven't had time to pick up some shorts since it's getting hot so I just got these light pink ones and they're really comfy and I tried them on and I love the like the waistband as well so they're really stretchy and I got those and then the last thing so in P press I actually found this and I already snapped this I thought it was the cutest thing ever if you guys have watched my main channel I actually had a vlog up of like our engagement photo shoot so Ryan and I had photos taken that I wanted to get like an album done we'll have more stuff on this channel um showing the photos and the video as well but i wanted to get like a photo book for it so this one right here it's so pretty i love how it has the pink detailing and the light blue i thought it was so gorgeous and it says this is what true love looks like Ooh, it's got flowers too that's really pretty and then you can put photos in here so i actually have to go later today i'm gonna go later today and get those photos printed so got this photo frame right here and i thought it was so pretty i've been trying to find a lot of stuff for the new home so i found this it's rose gold and pink and it's just so pretty i love it and it's kind of the theme like my theme of my new beauty room and office is going to be rose gold pink, light pink and white so those three colors if i see anything of those colors i'm like oh, i have to get it so i thought this would just look really pretty in the beauty room so i got that or office i'm not sure yet and i definitely want to frame one of the engagement photos i already know the one i wanted to frame i posted it on instagram to one of like a skipping i thought that would be really pretty last thing right here i got something from estee lauder the two things that i got were i actually went there for an eye cream so i got the estee lauder it's new revitalizing supreme global anti-aging eye balm so she was telling me that this stuff is amazing so i was like i'm gonna try it out I need to get serious on my under eyes because i don't just buy products like i am out of eye cream right now and see see it's because ryan's been taking it all he uses my eye cream guys so I had to step up my game and get this large one, which is huge, honestly. Like, I don't think I'll run out for a while. But I love the packaging. The packaging is gorgeous. I actually used this on my eyes this morning. Feels so hydrating. You can use it morning and night. Look how thick that is. If you guys are looking for, like, a really thick eye cream, this is good stuff. And their pricing is pretty decent. I think this was, like, $85, which, honestly, is still expensive. But... It probably works really well so i will let you know though on how it works and then the estee lauder advanced night repair concentrated recovery eye mask and she actually made me buy this pretty much she was raving about it saying it was really really good and it's just those two little um eye things you put underneath your eyes and it's i think a one use only this was 14 dollars. yeah <laughs> one use um so it's got like a little instructions on how to apply it so that's what it looks like right there you just put it underneath your eyes it's really supposed to help with depuffing she said and also just be super hydrating for underneath the eyes so i'm gonna try that out as well and i'll see how i like it but yeah that is the new stuff i purchased yesterday and i just didn't want to forget to get eye cream because sometimes i like i'm without eye cream for like a week and i feel like dehydrated underneath my eyes and my concealer won't apply as well and just like everything so i was like i need eye cream my hair is kind of crazy after filming i'm wearing this like cute little romper today i thought it was really cute and summery um but anyways i hope you guys are having an awesome day i will have more going on the vlog this week which i'm really excited about i have our engagement video that cole's working on that i'm gonna have and i know you guys have been really anxious to see it but i hope you guys are having a good week so far i will see you in my next little vlog part
Okay, so before I go, I just want to show you guys kind of what I was thinking for my custom closet. You guys know I went to Ikea, and I didn't really find anything that I liked that much. It wasn't really what I thought it would be when I saw it in person. So I totally think I'm going to do the custom, the custom closet, and I totally was thinking something on the lines like this, where it's actually like built-ins into the wall and stuff like that. So I think I want custom built-ins. Of course, I would do white, and I love the, I love the spacing of this because you could put clothes, you could put bags, you can put shoes you can really put whatever you'd want so definitely I found a lot more inspiration online this is also another neat thing I saw which it had like a counter space I thought that would be also a really cool idea and I like the top drawers how it has like the glass that's totally something that I wanted for my purses and they had like ones like this um, so I think a company that I'm going to contact is I guess California closets Ryan was saying they're good so I'm gonna contact them this is a little crowded for me but something on the lines of like what I want um, so yeah that is pretty much what I want to show you guys this is pretty much what I'm going for a custom closet with built-ins and a lot of space <laughs> and we actually both have our own closet so I'm really really excited about that we leave in a month guys so it's getting pretty exciting and you guys will see lots going on in our home situation but anyways I will see you guys in the next vlog and make sure to subscribe before you go